secfans.com rivalry week gotta slow it down because it's hard to say i uh, got josh here with me we're going to talk about the egg bowl we don't always talk about miss state or Ole miss especially lately there's been a couple of losses we're actually really high on miss state this year and i gotta say mississippi state i shorten it sometimes and it makes y'all mad and i apologize when i miss it um all right so you know the drill if you haven't seen it already if you haven't seen us before we're pretty objective on both inside and outside the sec uh, we try not to hate on teams. We just bring numbers to the discussion. This is going to be a quick discussion. We usually do about 30 minutes is our goal for a discussion. Sometimes we get into an hour. We've been talking for three hours straight, and we're tired, y'all. But we're going to make sure that uh, the Egg Bowl gets its due because it should. It's it's an important game, and it's a big robbery. So we're going to talk about it. Um, all right, Josh, let's get straight into the model on this one. Um, we've got a model explainer video, so we don't have to really explain it too much. And I think Ole Miss and Mississippi State fans are pretty comfortable with what we're doing. So let's just get into the numbers and see if there's anything interesting there. I know a lot of people are going to want to say, Mississippi State has had some issues on offense this year, but has an elite defense. Ole Miss has shown that they can put up a number on somebody offensively, has a terrible defense. Does the model kind of show that, and, and where does it take us? So I think the first thing that shouldn't surprise anybody is the defenses are quite a bit different statistically. Uh, Ole Miss allows 104, right at 114% of opponent rushing averages. That's bad, y'all. That's bad. So we, we usually say – a good defense is going to hold teams to well below the rushing averages. Um, most teams rack up a, most of their rushing numbers against a few bad defenses. Uh, Ole Miss has been one of those defenses. So yeah, so <laughs> yeah, and to that, it's, it's funny. It's a funny point you made because I was thinking as you said it. Um, what we always say is, if you're around a hundred percent, that's not great because teams have racked up poor defensive performances, good run defenses. Oh. I feel like right. you should just leave that in so people understand your personality better. <laughs> no. no, I will not leave that in. It's funny that you say that because we talk all the time about it. if you're around 100%, you've played some scrubs, so, or, or the teams you've played have played some scrubs and racked up some yardage, so 100% isn't great. It should be lower than average. It turns out that Mississippi, well, Ole Miss – I'm looking at the Mississippi right now. Ole Miss, their defense is that scrub defense, and that's not good going into a t- game where a team that runs the ball really, really well. Yeah, and, and to that point, 113% of opponent average, 114%. Mississippi State's allowing 74%. So um, at this point, you know, Ole Miss is allowing about half of what some teams were modeling this week in rivalry week allow. Uh, that's not good. I mean, it's not half, but double, right? You know, the the <laughs> they're half as good as, as some of those other defenses. And Clemson is fifty one percent, by the way, just for a, just for another number to throw out there. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to beat that to death, but you could if you ran if the same team ran the ball against Ole Miss and Clemson on average, they would have to run it two and a half times against Clemson to get the same yardage they would get off one carry against Ole Miss it's a little it's just it's a little crazy and I think Ole Miss fans are probably uh, a little punch drunk with that statistic by this point Um, anyway moving on past defenses 103 percent for Ole Miss and 70 percent for Mississippi State so yeah Mississippi State in the low 70s most statistics past defense 70 percent by the way it's that's phenomenal getting teams under 75 percent of their passing averages is really really stinking hard that's a sign of both how good the pass defense is in terms of the rush, but I think also the secondary is really underappreciated because teams are so rarely in a position to throw the ball that people don't realize how good the secondary would be. You don't get the number that low unless the secondary is also very, very good. Uh, so, yeah, now pretty good difference. I think one thing, an interesting point of comparison, I said we're doing other videos, uh, Ohio State is allowing 103% of opponent rushing averages and 107% of opponent passing averages. So, um, you know, I do think it's one thing you know, we kind of laughed at. Really, it's just how stupidly good Clemson is and Mississippi State really is defensively. It's easy to lose track. Ole Miss's defense is not abhorrently bad like some people make it out to be. In fact, the pass defense is statistically better than Ohio State's, and it's not like the run defense is really that much far off. Yeah, but it's interesting, and I wonder. I'm curious if you'll 
if you'll say this kind of on the record, you've been hinting around the fact that you think Mississippi State has as good of a defense as as Clemson. Do you are you willing to say that now? Do you think they do? Um, yeah, I, I think I will. I think I think Clemson's better against the run. They're they're just bigger. Clemson's front four is huge, but they're not as disruptive. Uh, you know. Lawrence and Wilkins and those guys, I think even Farrell, I think sometimes people forget that they're, they're just massive human beings and they, none of them are super fast and twitchy the way that, uh, you know, sweat is, or maybe even green and Simmons. None of them are as disruptive as Simmons. I think Mississippi state's defense is easily one of the best in the country um, and grossly underappreciated. All right, so we talked a little bit this year about how Ole Miss is kind of feast or famine where they can really put it on a team that doesn't have a good defense, but then they struggle in the exact opposite direction. Passing game just shuts down against good defenses. Scheme wise, matchup wise, is Mississippi State that kind of da- that kind of team, that kind of defense that's going to give Ole Miss fits, or is it the kind of defense that's got some weaknesses somewhere that Ole Miss can exploit? Um, fortunately, it's probably the kind of defense that's going to give Ole Miss fits. Um, okay, so on the flip side, does Ole Miss have anything on defense that's going to be able to quell Mississippi State? Because we have seen them against Florida, against Kentucky, against Alabama have games where I know those are better defensive teams, but have games where they're putting up you know, three against LSU, zero against Alabama, six against Florida. Is there something there that Ole Miss can slow them down enough because they have had really bad days offensively, or is that more a function of just what those other defenses brought to the table and less about a poor Mississippi State offense? Um, A combination of the two, I think. You have to be able to slow Mississippi State down enough. It's not Auburn's offensive system, Um, and I think early in the year, Moorhead threw the ball way too much, way, way too much with a quarterback that just isn't um, accurate enough with a deep ball to make it work. It wasn't a counter. It was a primary. In spite of the fact that he has three elite running backs, one of them named Nick Fister. Right. You know, the deep ball as a counter throwing to wide open guys because you're overcompensating with a run is one thing. It's another thing to throw to covered guys um, and throw with a quarterback that's going to complete those at a low percentage. But lately, no. Defenses were able to stop the run enough to make them throw, and then they were able to sort of exploit Fitzgerald. Um, ex, you know, excepting A&M who can't cover a pass to save their lives. Looking at Mrs. Old Miss's run defense this year, you know, there's the only team in the SEC they held under four yards per carry was South Carolina, and it was 3.97. I mean, there most teams have been happy. You know, Arkansas ran it 48 times at 6.2 yards per carry. Auburn ran it 46 at 6, 5.9 yards per carry. Teams... It's one thing to say that you're allowing, you know, five yards per carry in SEC play. It's another thing to look at it and go, you're allowing that. And teams are clearly running the ball first, second, and third and throwing fourth. Um, the, you know, it that's a concern. There's nothing here that really suggests they're going to be able to stop Mississippi State. At best, they can keep them from blowing them out only by running, but they're not going to stop them. Um, and that's that's the only way anybody's really been able to – well, I say the only way. That's how teams kept Mississippi State's offense in check was stopping the run first. I don't think Ole Miss can get to that point. All right, so model says 17-24 Mississippi State. It sounds like you disagree with that, so go ahead and tell us what you think the score is going to be. Yeah, I, I do disagree with it. I, I don't think Ole Miss can keep the Mississippi State uh, run game and offense in check. Uh, and likewise, Ole Miss's offense has been – like like we said, sort of stupid feast or famine. When they've played the better defenses, Auburn, LSU, Alabama, they failed to hit seven and a half yards per attempt in any of those games. So I think that models seven and a half yards per attempt. The problem is it doesn't quite uh, understand how much Ole Miss swings one way or the other. It's 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 looking at this as too much of a straight average. Uh, I think it's much more disparate than this. I'm going to go with a uh, Mississippi State even accounting for the rivalry game, 31 to 13. Um, yeah. It's, it's interesting. I mean, we're, we're pretty close. Um, I've got 37 to six. I, I don't think I am. So I don't know with, with 
with what we've talked about with Ole Miss in terms of when they see a good defense and how it just so disproportionately shuts down their offense, Mississippi State is that plus. They just are. And I think they're as good as Alabama's defense that that held Ole Miss to the one score uh, on the first play of the game. Um, I've got 37-6, to six, two field goals for Ole Miss, and, and, and a really long day. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, no, I, I just, I don't think anything's out of the question. It just depends on how much you're able to disrupt Tamu because as much as Tamu has it, if you had him throw it a target, Tamu is going to look fantastic. I think what both of us have seen is he really makes, he relies on his first read and he relies on it being there at when he wants to throw it. Um, and when he isn't able to get to that first read, either due to timing or coverage, he has struggled tremendously. I think Longo, I don't really love Longo's offensive system, but I think probably quite honestly, not enough is really said either. It's, it may just well be coaching, but not enough is said about the fact that Tom really, really struggles. If he actually has to go through progression on a play, that's just my opinion. All right. So Mississippi state sitting at seven, four would be eight and four with a win here. A lot of people are saying they're overrated because they have four losses. We are both thinking they are vastly underrated. Could we see, like you said with Auburn, who you said they're poised to break their sort of bowl game slump. Could you see Mississippi state being paired up in a bowl game with someone who is also ranked around they are where they are and also eight and four, um, being completely outmatched by Mississippi State team, who is actually better than their ranking and their record. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's a possibility. One, I know it really honestly ticks both of us off that we have gotten so much crap in the past week on random videos from, and especially in forums, from fans of other conferences telling us how ridiculous it is that Mississippi state with four losses is a top 25 team and two spots ahead of them is Northwestern with four losses that lost to Akron and Duke. It, it, it I mean, honestly, it, it ticks me off because Mississippi state is a tremendously better team than Northwestern. Um, right now, Mississippi state is slated to go to either play Wisconsin in the Outback bowl or Northwestern in the citrus bowl. And you know, I, I just don't see a Wisconsin team that lost to BYU or a Northwestern team that lost to Akron staying with either one of those teams. And I know they did well in conference or they did fairly well in conference, well enough to win, you know, Northwestern winning a really weak division. But I don't think either one of those teams is even on even remotely on Mississippi State's level. Yeah, I mean, you go two slots down, it's Pittsburgh who lost 51-6 to six to, to Penn State. Uh, they're surrounded by teams who either got blown out by decent teams and when I say blown out, I mean destroyed or teams who lost to really bad teams and, and Mississippi state's lost to number one, number seven, number 13 and number 18. And the, really the only bad one to me was the Kentucky game. So if we're saying your worst loss is to number 18 and you're going to be playing a team whose worst loss was a blowout to Duke or a loss to Akron, I don't, and by the way, that team is ranked ahead of you. I don't see how people are so indignant and beside themselves that Mississippi State is ranked. I think the reason people are mad is because Mississippi State is in the SEC. And they use this as a point of confirmation bias to say, well, see, the rankings are favoring the SEC again. They're overrated, blah, blah, blah. And what what happens, the big arguments against the SEC are always done in isolation. They always take one team and say, okay, this is this team is getting favoritism in the media or in the rankings without saying, okay, take that team, but look at everybody else around them. It's the same thing was said about LSU. Does, does anybody really think that LSU would lose badly to Ohio State? Because that's what you're saying when you're saying LSU has no business being ranked ahead of Ohio State. I don't think that. I think LSU would beat Ohio State. Um, but this is all a discussion maybe for the offseason. Um, I actually went longer on this one than we expected to as well, which is par for the course for us. Anything else on this one? No, I think that's pretty good. It'd be, yeah, I think this Egg Bowl last year went a little off the rails for Mississippi State. Um, because of the injury. Because of the injury. Uh, I, I just, Mississippi State is so good defensively compared to where they were at last year. Ole Miss is 
so much more discombobulated. I I just kind of see this one being the opposite. It's predicted to be a closer game, and I think it's going to be uh, more of a Mississippi State blowout. All right, y'all. Sorry to be the Grim Reaper on the score prediction and not being as fun and close and uh, interesting talking points as we usually bring to the table, but we're nothing if not honest, and, and we just kind of let the numbers take us where, where they should go. So um, thanks so much, y'all, for following us this far this season. Please remember to comment and subscribe. Y'all have a great week, and God bless.